Good morning, everybody. I am Kans Flores from Class 3A. Today, I'm going to introduce a book called To Kill a Mockingbird, written by Harper Lee, which was published in 1962, from which it has also won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction the following year. The introductory portion of To Kill a Mockingbird is told from the perspective of an adult Jean Lewis Finch, also known as Scout, who recollects her childhood living in a Great Depression era in Macomb, Alabama. The story begins in 1933, when Scout was only six years old. She lives with her widowed father, Atticus, his 10-year-old brother, Jem, and the house cook, Calpurnia. His father is a lawyer, and he does his best to instill his children as good manners and respects everyone regardless of their race or their class in the society. Scout and Jem spends their summer with their new friend, Dill, who are often spying on their reclusive neighbor, Boo Radley. After a summer of un unsuccessful schemes to get Boo outside, Dill is sent back home to Mississippi while Jem and Scout start school. Throughout the year, the children receive gifts from Boo through, through a knot hole on the Radley property. When winter comes, Scout and Jen learns that Atticus has taken a case of the case of Tom Robinson, who is a black man that was accused of raping Mayella Ewell, a 19-year-old daughter of Bob Ewell. During the months leading up to the trial, Scout and Jen witness just how racist and divided Maycomb really is. The climax of the story occurs at the trial, where after Atticus's cross-examination, it was clear that Tom Robinson was innocent and was falsely accused of the crime. The tension builds, but the jury delivers a guilty verdict. A few weeks later, Tom Robinson tries to escape from prison and was shot dead. Bob Ewell begins to make public threats to the Finchers. <clears throat> After a school play in the fall, a drunk Bob Ewell attacks Jem and Scout, breaking Jem's arm. Fortunately, Bill Radley comes to their rescue and leaving Bob, Bob Ewell dead. Scout walks Boo home and she finally understands what it must be like for him. Some major symbols of To Kill a Mockingbird. The Mockingbird represents innocence and vulnerability. Physical challenges suggest that everyone has their own weaknesses and is damaged by life. The knothole from the tree represents friendship and communication. The rabid dog disease is symbolic of the threat of racism and makeup. <clears throat> there are four main themes in To Kill a Mockingbird. First is race, the prejudice that permeates Maycomb society. Secondly is class, how residents of Maycomb judge one another by family name, wealth, and race. Third is equality versus inequality, how gender, race, and class affects the economic opportunity of making. Lastly, morality, how moral codes are compromised by racist, sexes, or classes to the beliefs. Also, the book shows a powerful message of tolerance and justice. By reading this book, I have learned the importance of courage, loyalty, and honesty. Courage has been expressed through many characters throughout the novel. Loyalty was another important value conveyed by Jem Finch and Atticus Finch during the story. Also, Atticus Finch and Jem Finch value honesty throughout the story. I also learned that everybody should be treated equally, disregarding their gender, race, class. Hence I, also hence, I also recommend this book to my fellows. This is the end of my book presentation. Thank you.